you all welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good <clears throat> okay so i had actually already recorded this video to be released yesterday itself but uh, after i was uh, recording after i had completed the recording and i was uploading it to be released finally like scheduling it to be released i saw that after the duration of 1 minute there was no audio in rest uh, i think 15 minutes it was total of 16 minutes video and i after 1 minute there was no audio so I was completely disappointed, and so I just uh, let it be. And then today, when my mood was good, I have again sat for the recording. Okay, so let's let's begin with the brief intro. So, um, for all the new members and for the all the old members as well, this is my channel at the rate service now developer. And uh, you can see uh, these are the two playlist. Uh, this is the service now interview prep playlist. And I would request you to please at least view first five to six videos. Any random, not first because these are independent use cases. None of them is independent. Each video is independent, and each video is covering real, practical, real time use case. Please trust me. Just to see any five of the use cases, and you will get to know that these are very real, and these are from. uh the projects or the stories or defects or any kind of things that people might have been working on and trust me it is extremely good and this will help you in whatever years of experience you are like whatever even if you are fresher or even if you are five years of experience you are definitely or six or seven you are definitely going to find few things here which are new to you or it will give you an insight and this integration playlist i I don't know how even to begin. Like this playlist is <clears throat> nowhere found on the YouTube. At least I know the content that I have covered here, the information that this video, these, uh, this playlist divulges is way too huge. So you must, must, must explore. And for this, I would say that you must explore at least beginning ten to twelve videos, and. you will have the grip on the basics of integration and then you can willingly explore you know outbound integration inbound email action different types of uh, apis and then correlation id and recently about last video this was for connecting the two instances and uh, uh, using auth and this is, will also work in uh, the third party uh integrations this is the same method that we'll be using so this is wonderful you must must explore this channel and these videos um it's gonna be very insightful okay so without any further ado uh, the use case for today's video would already be flashing somewhere in the screen and it was also actually asked multiple times in the community in the whatsapp group in the linkedin people have asked me uh, that how to change the form layout of mostly the questions are from service operations work space so i will be taking up that only that how to change this field is not to be here this section is to be removed from here or i have to add at this field here what do i do do i need to uh, learn ui builder or do i need to so only for this specific use case i am telling mind me this specific use case so do i need to learn ui builder do i need to uh, edit the pages and variants and several types of questions so uh, this particular video is on that use case and it's going to make your work a lot simpler and also i will explore uh, explain you how and uh, why we are uh, doing it okay so there are tweaks also uh, i'll show you that so stick with me through the video for the tweak please uh, see it till the end i'll also mark it in the time stamps that i share in the description of the video and if you are connected with me on linkedin or on whatsapp group there also you would see the time stamps that i share so you would uh, get to know the about tweak that i'm talking about so yeah so let's open the incident any particular any uh, random incident from here and uh, yeah so this is uh, the different uh, uh, tabs that you can see there is overview there is details there is related records okay and today we will be talking about details because this is actually uh, where in we see okay so you can see it has different fields here uh, in the incident section it has different fields here in the impact section it has different fields here and uh, in the assignment cause resolution all these sections so um, the 
use case that I'm taking up is that I want to remove uh, the channel and subcategory uh, from here from the incident section. Uh, subcategory why I want to remove because it is already present in the impact section or let's say I will keep it that I have to remove channel from here and I have to remove subcategory from here. So uh, this is one thing and another adding thing is also so if you learn removing you will also get to know of adding. So let's say I have to add uh, uh, let's see the resolution let's say I have to add resolved uh, field here which stores the time in milliseconds time it took to resolve that is a resolved time field I will add it and show so these uh, three things I have to do uh, summarizing it I have to remove channel and subcategory uh, from the incident and I have to from the incident section here and I have to add uh, the resolved time or resolved field here <coughs> okay so yeah so how we will do it we don't have to we don't have to uh, open any UI builder or uh, you know do anything from that we just need to open uh, any random incident in your core interface in your core platform interface and you need to yeah you already see the view is changed to service operation workspace here from here I'll show you you need to go to uh, the hamburger icon on the left hand side uh, from here you need to go to view I'm giving you detailed steps who already know they will understand what I mean so yeah hamburger icon from here view and then you have to go to service operations workspace and uh, here as you can see it has channel and subcategory so if you cha make the changes in here then it will all automatically reflect there this is this is a very um, this is very fast method and you don't need to uh, take tension of anything like uh, <coughs> like if you have to open the UI builder you need to open the details and all that you don't need to take tension of that you just need to make the changes in the form layout here so as I told about removing the channel and subcategory that I have already done and the second thing uh, was that I have to add uh, the resolve time in your um, um, impact section uh, sorry resolve resolve section so that I'll do So here you can see the resolution section and uh, yeah so I'll click on edit this section from here and from here I have to bring resolve business resolve time is there and uh, now you can see there is resolve time this is the field I was talking about it is stores in milliseconds the time it took to uh, resolve we can also bring resolved and resolved by field like yeah all these fields you can bring I am Generally, they are in the resolution section, so that's why I have brought all these fields. So, yeah. Meanwhile, this is saving. I will just refresh the service operations workspace form. Yeah, so now you can see that before there was channel and subcategory here. Here, as yes, you can see, but now there is no channel and subcategory here. So, you can see that the changes that we made in the service operations workspace view, it directly reflected in the service operations workspace. Okay and uh, and in the resolution we added those fields so let's see uh, so this is resolve, resolve time resolved and resolved by so you can see that this is cre uh, clearly working now talking about the tweak i was talking let's open any new incident from here and now uh, still uh, uh, you can see subcategory field here in the uh, incident section but I already removed the subcategory field from the incident section here as you can see there is no subcategory field but when you are opening the new record you can still see the subcategory field in the incident section and also you are able to see the channel field yeah both channel and subcategory field are still here and if uh, yeah so that is both channel and subcategory field are still here so <coughs> So that is a different view. Uh, we will again go to view and from here you can see that it is service operations workspace new record. 
so for uh, the changes uh, to make in the new record this is a very real time use case i'm telling you i have seen this in one of the stories for the work spaces and uh, that was a complaint from the client that they are not able to see it here but they are still seeing when they are trying to open a new record this is the tweak i was talking about so that is a separate view itself that is service operations work space new record and that you can see there is channel and there is sub category that's why you are able to see and you can see there is no resolution section added here in this view that's why uh, you are not able to see resolution section here okay so let's uh, configure this form layout also and we will be removing the channel and sub category field from the incident section and we'll save it okay so in while it saves we will also refresh the workspace uh, uh, new record form you can see that it is already removed from the core ui and uh, this now you can see that there is no channel and there is no sub category this is what i was uh, talking about so this will make your uh, form layout changes in the workspace very very simpler uh, so i hope i hope again you learnt a lot from this video something new or uh, if you are already having it added to it or whatever so please 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 spare a moment to like share and subscribe if you found anything interesting you can see a lot of hard work is there and this will motivate me a lot to come up with such interesting and real time use cases in this playlist and integration playlist and also think about further playlist please 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 uh, like share and subscribe thank you thank you so much bye bye